At MDC, we have a range of mass spectrometry capabilities, including mass spectrometry imaging, or for short, MSI. This is an analytical technique that enables the detection of a molecule or molecules from a surface. In biology, MSI can be used to provide insights into the molecular composition of histological samples, to characterise cells and tissues in health and disease, and to discover new biomarkers for pharma R&D. At MDC, we work with two mass spectrometry imaging techniques. The first of these is MALDI, so matrix-assisted laser desorption ionisation, and the second being DESI, desorption electrospray ionisation. We use both techniques as each has different applications and limitations. Our MALDI systems, for example, allow for the generation of high spatial resolution molecular images, either at high throughput or with high mass resolving power. Our DESI system is mostly used for studies of drug distribution and lipid biomarkers and has the benefit of needing minimal sample preparation whilst providing a good level of throughput. I'm going to talk about an example of a clinical application of mass spectrometry imaging to support biomarker discovery. By studying the molecular biomarkers of a disease, we can get information about the underlying mechanisms that drive the disease progression and the possible targets for treatment. In this example, we analyzed sections of spinal cord from individuals that had motor neuron disease using DESI mass spectrometry imaging. Images acquired using DESI provide information regarding the spatial distribution of different molecules throughout the tissue sample. The analysis of the data contained within these images and the comparison of these results to those acquired from healthy tissue enabled us to identify biomarkers associated with motor neuron disease. Each of the images obtained in this study will contain a number of pixels. Each pixel contains a mass spectrum, and from each mass spectrum, a mass channel can be visualized as a heat map that represents the spatial distribution and abundance of a molecular species. In this particular case, a difference in the molecular biomarkers detected in different anatomical regions of the spinal cord could be a possible indicator of the occurrence and progression of motor neuron disease as well as possible targets for treatment. MSI can also be used to look at biodistribution in any other ex vivo tissue, so not just brain tissue, to include things like organoids, human tissue, provided it's not embedded in paraffin. However, we can look at peptides and proteins if they are FFP embedded. Additionally, MSI can access a number of biomarkers that are challenging to image via conventional methods, such as small molecule metabolites, lipids and even glycans, all of which can play an integral role in disease pathology and by extension the response of biological systems to therapeutic intervention. At MDC our ultimate end goal is to apply our knowledge of mass spectrometry, including mass spectrometry imaging, to help the customers and collaborators we work with in furthering the understanding of their therapeutic candidates. This in turn, we hope, may help to get the best of these through to patients faster.